episode 11 of Print and Paint. It's Kevin, aka Zimete. Today I'm doing Kerrigan uh, from StarCraft 2. I'm on my mini factory. It's from Francesco Oru. And let's print this girl. So, first I started by reducing the scale. I'm at 60%. Uh, I choose to scale down a little bit uh, so I could fit two parts per build plate. So I was not really keen on doing four 10 hour sprints for each part. So that's the reason behind it. And um, I went a bit heavy on the support here. As you can see, uh, I have quite a lot and the pros is nothing's gonna fail. But uh, after I had quite a bit of marks to remove then fix. Okay, so here I am, the print is done. The whole thing went very, very well, like there is no problem at all. I had three cuts on each wings and one on the waist here. Uh, I've done my best to blend everything together and smooth everything together. Um, I've thought about keeping everything separate, but it's not realistic. Like this is really, really small and hard to blend together. So I think right now was the best time to use some super glue, then some resin and then try to smooth everything and have a good result. I can still see the seam just a tiny bit on the waist, but everything is pretty good. Uh, if I had to put everything together later on, it would have been a nightmare. But the problem that I have right now is, that's a recipe for disaster. There is some flex, but I'm scared. And <laughs> it's probably gonna break during the painting process, but that's fine. And the second thing, I had to print a plate uh, the base is really nice, but it's not stable at all. So this one is 60 millimeters and it's really gonna help the, the model to not fall over. So let's go, let's paint. So here I started, I super glued the base first and put some PVA. And here with some paper towel, I'm just rolling them into PVA glue and I try to fix them in between those two bases. Uh, I'm trying to blend everything together, that's the goal here. And uh, they're kind of like organic things coming out of, of the, I don't know, the ground. I added a bit more paper later on. And on top it's PVA glue with uh, black paint, just to smooth everything out. Okay, so now for the base coat, um, I went with the classic color from the, the game. Uh, I've tried to keep everything kind of flashy. I didn't want too realistic of a, a result. Uh, I've tried to stay close more of a fan art rather than the game itself or a realistic model. So here I have all my base coat done. I then apply a wash to have my details pop and try to desaturate a bit the color because I will go back after on it. So I'm, I mixed. I think I've done 50/50 uh, sepia wash and black. So I could have like full black was a bit too much. So by mixing two wash together, it's pretty good sometimes. Here I have all my details and I'm using a lot of dry brushing right now. So um, I went back with some light brown and I'm trying to give back the colors who were there before. So I'm brushing the brown and the purple. Uh, I'm blending a bit of the, the two as well together, like on the seams. I'm not sure where I'm, I was gonna go yet. So I just went one step at a time. So here I'm in one second step of the, the dry brushing. I'm on the purple and I'm, I have a brighter color and I'm trying to define some volume. So from the, the light is from the top left and I'm just brushing on the side here. Same for the back. And this is the third step, still dry brushing, but this time with a way brighter purple. Just to give more vo volume again and a bit more highlight. Now I'm back on the brown, doing the same. 
I've decided to change the feet. First, I base coated them with uh, skin color, and I decided to change for the brown, like the the horns and everything. And now I'm, I'm finally on the brush, the normal brush, and uh, I'm defining details uh, with more accuracy. I'm going with a brighter color. There is a, a lot of edge I like to do on, on those parts. So that's what I'm using the brush for. I have a more desaturated and uh, brighter color here. And I'm doing all the edge I like. And here I'm just doing the opposite. I took a really tiny brush and I'm uh, using like straight uh, black from the pot. Just a tiny bit diluted and I'm defining all the seams. There are so many details. Like here in the rib cage, the center kind of abs. It's more like a spine from but in the front. <laughs> so I'm defining all those seams slowly. Uh, and right now I was going with a brighter color again. Um, I didn't just brighten my color, I went with some uh, some mixed coloring. Uh, it's probably some bone and orange yellowish color. So I've, I didn't just add white and went pure highlight. I've tried to give more color as well. And like the, the transition is kind of smoother and a bit more pleasing on the eyes. Same for the purple. I'm going slowly but trying to give more detail. So right now I have some really bright uh, purple and I'm trying to define some the, the brightest highlight of the model on the on this color. And it's more like you can see here um, she has some kind of like glowing power like floating through a vein or something. And all the purple parts were kind of smooth and were lacking some detail so I just freehand some strokes to, to give a bit more like interesting things on it. And you could probably like go super high detail and try to get this effect perfect, but I just went ahead and tried to put more color into the model and make it more interesting. And at the end I just come with some pure white and try to brighten a little bit some part of, of those details here. It's great for the highlight itself and some kind of texture also. gonna work on the skin a bit uh, nothing really interesting I'm terrible at skin tones I just did my best with some wash and some different tones and I went back and forth uh, when I was done I did all the air one by one and right here so as you can see her hair they, they have some kind it's some kind of dreadlocks mixed with some zerg scales or something so I decide to detail each one of them for all the hair. Uh, it was really tedious, but it's worth it in the end. Like the straight hair alone were really bland, but adding all those small like strokes and highlight on each of the scales really adds up at the end. And I'm really happy I had the idea and I went for it. Adding a bit of purple glow here for the transition between the skin and the air. Here for the eyes, I choose to go with the yellow orange kind of glow coming from the eyes. Um, there is different kind. There is like the normal eyes uh, just with the purple and white and black. Uh, some of them are uh, purple, glowing purple and in some fan arts you have yellow and orange eyes like this. I think it was really great because it, you can add another color to the model and it's really like putting you through the face so that's when uh, I went for the orange eyes. And here on the base so I went with my first brown uh, like dark brown uh, base coat and I'm doing so those, those kind of organic things that I add at the start. I'm choosing to paint them uh, just skin color, kind of purplish. 
and I'm adding some color on top of the base. This is supposed to be some kind of egg or flower, I think. This, those kind of four like horns coming out the ground, so I don't really remember. I haven't played StarCraft for a while. So I'm giving some kind of uh, yellowish and greenish tint to my brush uh, on top of this. I went with some wash again uh, over it just to blend after and get some detail and one more coat of dry brushing. The Queen of the Swarm is finished. This one was really nice to paint. Uh, that's a great model once again. And for once, I, I think that my painting style and flow went really like smoothly. Um, every time that I choose my color, every time that I applied my paint, I really felt in control, so to speak. Uh, it's not a masterpiece and it's not gonna win an award, but I was really happy the way I, I went into it. Like I, I felt really confident and that's a huge improvement for me. So the result is really nice. I think that's a great thing to paint. Uh, if you guys are doing it, you should consider adding a base the same way I did just to improve the stability of it and uh, yeah just see you in the next episode if you made it that far uh, just leave a like and comment a bit I would like a bit more interaction with you and uh, see you soon